Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Ark on the Scorched Earth. Behind us, we have our trap for the wyverns. That's right, it's time to tame us some wyverns. Now, we need a trap so that way we can get milk, so that way we can uh, make it the babies. So the babies like the milk. Now, it's a simple trap, it's just a bunch of behemoth gateways in a row. Do, 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 do. And then at the end, I put uh, two. Um, regular dino gateways because they can't fit through them. We left that gap right there so that way when we have a wyvern chasing us the way this will work is we get the wyvern to chase us hopefully we fly out that direction get them to come near us then we turn and come this direction so that way they're following us straight on this bridge this land bridge below us and then we slow down let this open. Now this gateway behind us is set to close after 10 seconds. We can either fly out the gates themselves or uh, we can fly out this little gap right here. Now that gap is too small for a wyvern to fit through. Uh, that gap is too small. That gap is too small. And they can't fit through these gateways, but we can. So, some people would say that I built too big of a base, that is too much resources. But resources are not a problem for us um, but we're only going to tame the female wyverns the male wyverns we're gonna put them a little further down so that way if we're being chased uh, we can just leave the male wyverns over here to be killed and so what we'll do is we'll get our rock golems one like I said, this flyer is not really fast enough to outrun the wyverns, and we've maxed out its movement speed with our mod that allows us to increase its speed, which is sad. Uh, so, what we need is stamina, so that way we can keep flying at least. Now, we can outmaneuver the wyverns, because when they're flying in, we can just do that, that, that. We can outmaneuver them, but we can't necessarily. Uh, outrun them. What you're looking for when you're looking for eggs is uh, in the wyvern trench. See these little alcoves? If there's an egg, you'll see it. You'll see a nest in there. If there's no nest, there's no egg. Now sometimes there's a glitch where the the eggs despawn as soon as you pick them up. Now if a wyvern gets after us, we're gonna have to try to lead it away from us. We'll take it out and try to get it to aggro on something else like uh, that UD <laughs> or that uh, Argentavis up there because we can't outrun them on this bird. I should have tamed at least one RG to do this run because then you could just outrun them. But I really don't like the RG so we're going to do it with this guy. I have also done it. Um, you used to be able to climb up these walls with the Thiokalia. It is a little difficult, but it can be done. Um, I've also parked a horse on the, the land bridge and uh, come in here with grappling hooks and steal an egg and hop on the horse and outrun the wyverns. Uh, but we are not doing it that way. I think they changed it. I don't think a Thiokalia can climb on these walls anymore. Come on, wyverns. I've seen a lot of you guys, maybe 20 of you, 30 of you, and I have not seen one egg. You guys need to be more productive. Ooh, there's an egg right there, a lightning egg. The lightning eggs... Oh, we got one following us. Okay, so we're, we're going to try to to pawn it off on a creature up here. Like those guys right there. Yeah, right here. What we'll do is we're just going to circle these guys. And hopefully they should start fighting. And if not, then we may have to look at doing something else. Oh, no, he didn't get off on me. Hey, you gotta get off of me, buddy. I look, I gave you to these guys. You want these guys right here. Look, these guys are for you. Those guys. No, you don't want me. Uh. Okay, it will attack that horse. Sorry, horse. Sorry. I am so sorry. But, you know what? That's, that's just how it is. Okay, so we did get eyes on that. On a lightning egg. Lightning eggs are blue. Uh, fire are red. Poison is green. 
So there it is. Now once we pick up an egg, these guys are going to get mad at us. So we really don't want to pick up an egg and this is really good. Although, like I said, we need six eggs all together to make some breeding. Once we have one wyvern, then it will be a lot easier because then we can just use it to grab these other ones. Oh, I'm so, those guys are so close. You gotta be careful when you jump off because you don't want to jump into the pit with them. Uh, it's only a level 12. Alright. Let's do it. Now they all are angry at me. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try to outmaneuver them. Those lightning wyverns are the ones we want to look out for. They can hurt us the most. So I'm just flying really close to these things to try to outmaneuver them. And take them back to... Because we're pulling all these wyverns with us, which is part of my plan. Uh, we're just going to take them to the uh, rock golems. And let them deal with them. Okay, so... They've aggroed onto the rock golems. The rock golems are taking care of it. So we can just stay back here. And let the rock golems do their thing. Once they've killed them all, we'll go in and uh, get eggs. Okay, is that a female, that last one? I know it's a male, so they need to kill it for us. Now we do want to come over here after they do their thing. Collect these bags. Because, well not this bag. That's garbage. These bags. Because it's going to give us talents, which we need for the boss fight. Take those arrows. This stuff we'll put inside of one of the rock golems. We need these talents and the arrows. The rest of the stuff can go on one of these guys. Like this. Looks like they didn't harvest this one. So give me the arrows. The rest of it can go here. Then we'll just hop on. Yeah. A little corona. Come on, Squishy. And Softy, you follow too. What are you doing? Trolling around here. Think you're gonna get us? My goodness. It's just skipping right over its head. Alright, let's try throwing it over there. Alright, fine. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it home. And we have the eggs that we're gonna hatch up, the other ones we have up in the fridge. We're going to hack these up. First, I'm going to put them in best eggs to uh, let it um, get them ready to hatch. We have some of the wyvern milk in our pockets. That way we can feed it to the babies when these are ready to hatch. And then we'll breed those with... Uh, we'll, we'll get some one of each wyvern. I mean, I could go crazy and build 20 of each wyvern. But we're not going to do that. I'm just going to buy a... Uh, you know what? Let's switch these out. I'm just going to build one of each wyvern. Let's uh, put the yellows on the side and the red in the middle because there's only one red. There's two yellowish ones. Together they make orange. <laughs> so wyvern milk. Oh, we need some meat. How's our trough going? Do we have meat in here? Uh, we have some. We have some. We'll take half out. Split it. Split it. Split it. Split. And then one more. One more. Because we got six little babies to hatch. Yep. They're ready. So hopefully we will get some good wyverns. I did not find a better fire wyvern when we went down there for that last run. So our fire wyverns are going to be a 128 and a 132. I am going to keep my eye on the trench for the last few episodes. So I'm going to let these guys grow up, breed them, get some wyverns. Um, 
maybe once we get all the stats on individuals, I'll then breed for mutations if I can, if I have time today. Um, otherwise, we're gonna, just going to call it quits here. You know what, let's grow one of these up so you guys can see what the wyverns do. So, to grow babies up, we need the grow up potion. Which is here. So I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Actually, no, I need, I need to grow them up. So that way, you guys can see what the wyverns do. If you've never played with the wyverns. So we'll grow up the most highest level ones and let the little babies just keep growing on their own. The small, the... So give me this back. You eat this. And then let me let me out, please. Hmm. You don't need a saddle to ride these. So which one's higher level? The 148. Give me this, and you can have this. And then can I squeeze by you? Yep. 132, 128. So give me this, and you can have this. So we'll take the poison one out first, then the lightning, then the fire. The poison's really good on PvP. It's not so good here. Make sure one more time that none of them's following me. Okay. So what can a wyvern do? Well, when you're flying, you're sitting on the ridges on his back. You don't need a saddle. Uh, when you're flying, left click is a bite. Right click is the breath, whether it, whatever it is. And C is to pick creatures up. All yeah, right, but those those moves change when it's on the ground. So when it's on the ground, the left click still bites, the right click still spits whatever breath it has, lightning, poison, or fire, but the C button raises up on its hind leg and flaps its wings, and uh, it can gather wood and thatch. Oops, I meant to go in its inventory. See, it gathers wood and thatch that way. Now they can pick up most everything in the game. They can't pick up everything, but they can pick up some of the largest creatures, stegos, things that uh, you know an archie cannot pick up. Arelatops, of course, ankies. Oops, I did the right click instead of. Now you have to be careful with uh, the lightning. I actually have to be careful with all of them because their breath can hurt you. Um. So, like, if you're spitting the fire and you jump off and jump through that fire, you're going to start burning. Same thing with the lightning, same thing with the poison. So you have to be careful with these guys because their breath can hurt you just as well as it can other creatures. Um, here we go, Morella tops. And yoink. Is that setting not on anymore that I can't pick creatures up? If I can't pick this Parasaur up, then I know that setting has been back, turned back on. Oh, I missed it. About the Dodicarus. I'm gonna have to check that setting. Well, if your setting is not, is enabled to allow you to pick up creatures, then C is to pick creatures up. But my settings got reset about a week ago, and I really haven't picked anything up with the creatures yet. So since then, so. Obviously, it's turned off, and I can't pick anything up. Maybe that was why we couldn't pick things up with the tap, tap jar the other day. Yeah, I should have been able to... That should have grabbed that Parasaur. So, the Fire Wyvern. Let's go back and see what kind of damage... Not the Fire, the, the Poison Wyvern. Now, what you want to increase on these guys is... It depends on what you're used for. If you're going to be using them as a transport for... Uh, you know, carrying your Anki, then you obviously you want a little bit of weight. Um, their melee damage actually affects their breath. So, uh, 
you want to up that. Um, you normally can't up their speed. This is because I have a mod in here that lets me up their speed. So you want health, stamina, melee, and maybe one or two of weight. You, uh, you absolutely do not want to use any in oxygen. It's like most other flyers, you land on the water, they kick you off. So, with these guys, you can try to spit the poison while you're flying, but it is far easier in first person. See, even right there, it, it went right over its head. And that was a little too close for me to be trying to spit it, because that could have hurt me. Okay, so 372. Let's uh, pump some melee. One, two, three. And now try that again. Go back to the same Marilla tops. They're, the poison's breath goes the furthest out of all of them. So with three points pumped, it went up to 416. So that's about 33 points per per point. Of course, when you get an imprint on them, and, sta and you know you get several generations, they get more powerful. Oh, come on! I need you to land. Yep, right there beside the other poison. So the lightning wyvern has all the same maneuvers. Oh, we got on the fire. We want the fire last because it's my favorite. Now the poison light wyvern is very good on PvP also because its lightning goes right through armor. However, it's a little difficult to use. See, I was right there at the bird and it's still it was difficult to use. Yeah, that setting is definitely turned off. Just like with the poison, it's easiest to do it when it's in first person. That was doing a hundred per uh, second. See? I did a line of hundreds because that creature was moving. That doesn't sound like a lot. Ooh, only a hundred. But when you think it's doing that every second, then that, that's pretty good. And the Fire Wyvern. Now some people call these dragons. They're not dragons. They're not the Chinese dragon, they're not the European dragon. Technically speaking, they have legs and they have wings. That makes them a wyvern. So let's spin around and roast something here. You can do the left click to bite. You can do C. It blows away creatures also. See? It does blow creatures away. And it will harvest trees. Or it burn things. And they take fire damage. They take the initial fat damage, but then they also take... Uh, a continual burn. And some creatures are greatly affected by fire. Like uh, when we go to tame the uh, mantis and we gotta fight some death worms to get some death worm horns, we're definitely gonna be using the fire wyvern because or, or the rock golem, one of the two. Because it, the fire does a lot of damage, seems to do a lot more damage to the um, death worms than the other wyverns do. So, I'll bring you guys back after we have bred up our wyverns. That's a cool color. That blue ridge across the back. Anyways, so we'll bring you guys back when we've got when we've got our wyverns all bred up. And Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We've bred up some wyverns. So, we're uh, we're gonna toss them out hatch them up and uh, see what we got. So I got a fire wyvern, a poison wyvern, and I mean uh, lightning and a poison. And it's during a superheat. Of course it is. So we're gonna work our way up to the fire 
I'm going to do poison, lightning, fire, of course. Toss these guys out. Of course, it's going to be too hot. Nope, not too hot. I thought for sure it'd be too hot. Well, we got some of the colorings of its parents the white body, the yellowish tint. Grow this girl up. Okay. Hello, girl. Let's take her over here so she's out of the way. So, she got a... Oh, it's going to be hard to see. It's so bright with this super heat. So, let's gamma down if we can. Tab gamma 1.5. That's better. So she's got a yellow ridge, she's got yellow fins, white fins on her face, with, is that black? Black on her wings, green belly, and highlights. So, unlike most poison wyverns, she didn't get a lot of green from her parents. She got more of the yellow from her mother, the white from her father. I don't know where the black came from, but it may have been one of the mutations. She does have some mutations. They all do. I did have time to breed up some mutations. Um, then I had to breed them back with their original parents in order to get... Nope. Had to breed them back with the original parents to get... Um, original colors from the parents back on the babies. Because I didn't want like bright uh, yellow and bright green and bright... There was one that came out blue. One of the... Uh, mutations. I was like, no, no, I don't, I don't necessarily want a blue poison wyvern. Okay, so this is our lightning wyvern. Okay, so it looks like it got. I, I don't know what it got. Imprint it. Give it the grow up potion. So, are you a female or a male? Another female. Okay, well that's that. So it got. Uh, I can't tell with this lighting. Look like it got a black belly and black wings. Purple and blue and white. So it looks similar to the poison with the white body. <laughs> Is the fire wyvern going to come out like that too? Are we going to have uh, white bodied creatures with multicolored wings? I don't like how the lightning wyvern always looks down. See, the poison wyvern always looks up. The lightning wyvern always looks down. I don't know if I necessarily like that. But it's been in arc since wyverns have been in arc, so there's going to be no changing it. Alright, our fire egg. Ooh, it got blue on it. Alright, and black. Oh, so where the other ones are red, are white, it got a black. So let's grow it up, give it an imprint. Uh, we, we need to give an imprint to those other two also. Uh, I forgot to tell it to stop wandering. I mean, following. Very well. Down we go. So it got blue. I mean, that kind of looks cool on a... on a fire wyvern. I'm used to seeing blue on ice or lightning. But, you know what? I'm going to keep that mutation that's kind of cool mutation. Let's see here. If we're going to be keeping our wyverns up here, we're going to have to put a gate right there so something doesn't just come up here and bite them. <sighs> Alright. We got a yellow drop right there. Although it looked like it was sunk into the ground. I don't know if I could get it. Let's come around here. I have just the name for the for these guys. So she needs an imprint. You know, I didn't even check to see if the, the fire was a male or female. He needs an imprint. She needs an imprint. So... And 
Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Are you a female or a male? You are a male. So the fire is the only male. This is how they came out. I'm gonna leave it like this. We'll see what they can do in the next episode. This episode was just about catching them, breeding them. Nope. You can't walk up that little bitty cliff. There we go. I'm gonna have to like parallel park you back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, so where their bodies are white and then they have colorful highlights, this one has a black body. And then the normal reddish highlights. This is gonna we're gonna call it quits here for the day. We've done a thing. Let me get it back, the normal brightness. So we've got our fire wyvern, we've got our lightning wire wyvern, and we got a poison wyvern. And our names are gonna be uh Fin Fang Foom. Fin Fang Foom is a dragon in the Marvel universe. And uh, it's a three-part name, so each one is going to get a different part of the name. So, options, change, name. This is going to be Finn. This is going to be Feng. And, of course, the fire will be Foom. Finn Feng Foom. <laughs> Oh, yes, people. Let's see. Foom. <laughs> yes, we have our three wyverns, people. They have some... They have some imprints on them. They have some, uh... Alright, guys, thank you for joining us. Remember to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about us, your family, your pets, your dogs, your cats. Tell everyone you know. But remember, people, Good on above all else, trust in the Lord.